Hi guys, here is Julie from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, like and ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new tutorial. So, in today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet this very beautiful shawl. And for this I'm going to use this yarn here. It's from Lang Yarns. It's a fingering weight yarn. It has 100 grams for 100 meters. And it's a blend of wool and I've used almost 300 grams. In addition to the yarn we are also going to need a 3 mm crocheting hook a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. Let's start. Okay, so take your hook and your yarn and make a chain. So for the shawl, go ahead and chain 52. So now here I'm going to work a small sample with you because all we need to do is rows of double crochet. So here is my actual shawl. So as I said, I've chained a total of 52 to have then a total of 50 double crochets. Okay, so here is how the shawl is going to be. So we are going to work first double crochet rows and then in the length and then we are going to add some lace pattern. Okay, so you have your 52 chains. Now go back in the fourth chain away from hook and make one double crochet and then work one double crochet in each chain across till the end of the row. Okay, so now we are going to step up with a chain three. This counts as your very first double crochet. Flip your work and in the next stitch work one double crochet and in the next another double crochet and work like this till the end of the row. So you have a total of 50 double crochet. Okay, so now you have to work a total of 148 double crochet rows to have the length of your shawl and then I'll meet you back to show you how to add this lacy border. Okay, so I have 148 double crochet rows. Now we are going to work in the length. So here and we want to have a total of 296 double crochets, so it's a multiple of 7 plus 2. So our first row is going to be a double crochet row, so here is my yarn. So don't cut your yarn, now chain 3. And as I said, we are going to work in the length, so it, um, in the double crochet rows. So now make one double crochet in this space here and one double crochet in between the row so here so we are going to work two double crochet in each double crochet that we've already made so here's my second so here is 
the first double crochet you have to make and then the second one okay and work like this all the way down and meet me back when you have a total of 296 double crochets So here I have a few more stitches left. And now I'm going to make my very last two double crochets. So here is my first and in my third chain I'm going to make my last double crochet for the next row chain 3 it counts as your first double crochet turn your work and make one double crochet in your next stitch chain 5 Skip two stitches and in the next make one single crochet, chain five, skip two stitches and in the next we are going to double crochet two together. So here is one and two and now we are going to double crochet them together chain 5 skip 2 stitches and in the next one single crochet chain 5 and then we are going to work again to double crochet together so skip 2 and your third and your fourth double crochet from the previous row work together just like this chain 5 skip 2 and in the next work one single crochet this is going to be your pattern repeat till the end of the row. Meet me back when you're done. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. Now I've chained five and we are going to end up our row with two double crochets. Next row, chain 3, turn your work and make one double crochet in the next stitch, chain 1 and make one double crochet in the same stitch. chain one so skip over your single crochet and now we are going to work in our double crochet one double crochet chain one two double crochets chain one and another double crochet so all in the same stitch in the double crochet from the previous row chain one 
and skip over your single crochet and then go to the next double crochet from the previous row and work again one double crochet, chain one, two double crochets, chain one and another double crochet. So this is going to be our pattern repeat till the end of the row and meet me back to show you how to work next. Okay, a few more stitches left. And now we are going to end up our row by making one double crochet, chain one and another double crochet in the same stitch and one double crochet in your third chain chain three counts as your first double crochet turn your work and now we are going to make one row of only double crochet so make one double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet in this one chain space and one double crochet in your double crochet from the previous row one double crochet in the one chain space one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in your one chain space and work like this till the end of the row and you are going to end up your row by having a total of 296 double crochets chain 3, turn your work and make one double crochet in your next stitch skip one and in the next stitch work four double crochet all in the same stitch so three and four then chain one, skip four stitches and in the next work four double crochet so all in the same stitch three and four chain one and again skip four and in the next one uh, four sorry four double crochets and this is our pattern repeat till the end of the row and you are going to end up your row by making only one double crochet Okay, so here I'm at the end of my row. I've skipped one and I've made one double crochet in my third chain. So at the beginning we had two double crochets and now at the end we are going to have only one double crochet. Next row, chain one, doesn't count as a stitch and work one single crochet in your very first stitch so this one here and then chain three and now we are going to double crochet three together so we are going to work between our double crochets from the previous row so in here we are going to double crochet three together so one unfinished double crochet two unfinished double crochet and 
Here is my third unfinished double crochet. I have four loops on my hook and now crochet together and then chain three and make one single crochet in this one chain space, chain three and again we are going to double crochet three together so again between our double crochets from the previous row just like this and three now I have four loops on my hook and we are going to close them together chain three and work again one single crochet around your chain from the previous row chain three and again work between your double crochets so double crochet three together and this is going to be our pattern repeat till the end of the row Okay, so now I'm going to skip over this double crochet from the previous row and I'm going to make one single crochet in my third chain and for the next row, chain three, it counts as your very first double crochet and then chain two more. This is going to be the space in between your stitches, turn your work and make one single crochet on top of these uh, three double crochets from the previous row so here on top and then chain five and skip over to your double crochet stitch from the previous row and make one single crochet chain five and skip to the next just like this and this is going to be our pattern repeat till the end of the row okay so I am at the end of the row now I have my five chains here so make one single crochet here on top, chain two and one double crochet in, in our first single crochet here, see? Now chain three, this is your first double crochet turn your work and make one double crochet in this two chain space one double crochet and now jump to your five chain space from the previous row and work five double crochet in there one two three and five and in the next five chain space work again five double crochet three four and five and this is how you are going to work till the end of the row okay so now to end up your row make one double crochet in this single crochet here one double crochet in this chain space and one double crochet in the third chain okay so now we have a total of 
295 double crochet for the next row chain 3 this counts as your first double crochet and chain 1 more this counts as a 1 chain space turn your work And now skip one stitch and in the next make one double crochet, chain one, skip one and in the next one double crochet, chain one, skip one and in the next double crochet, chain one, skip one and in the next one double crochet and this is how you are going to work till the end of the row. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. I've already chained one. Now skip this stitch and make your double crochet in your third chain. And for the next row, chain three counts as your first double crochet. And now make one double crochet in this one chase chain space from the previous row chain one, one double crochet in the space, chain one, double crochet in this one chain space, and chain one and again one double crochet in this one chain space from the previous row, chain one and again. So this is how you are going to work till the end of the row. And I'll meet you back when I'm done. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row. I've already chained one. Now make one double crochet here and one double crochet in your third chain. Okay, so now work another row like this one, the first one. So I'm going to start with you. So chain 4, this counts as your first double crochet and your one chain space and then put one double crochet in the one chain space from the previous row and one chain in between just like this and then meet me back when you're done to show you how to work your very last row. Okay, I'm at the end of the row now. If you want to make this section a little bit longer, you can do this, but you want to make sure that you end up by making this as your last row, okay? So, for the last row, now chain one and turn your work and this doesn't count as a stitch, so make one single crochet in this double crochet here. Now chain three So skip this square here and in the next make one, two, three, double crochet. Now you are going to make one pico, so chain three and now go in your very first chain and slip stitch like this and now make another three double crochet so one two and three so now skip this space and in the next make again one two and three double crochet and one pico 
and another three double crochet one two three skip this and in the next we are going to make the same so three double crochet one pico and another three double crochet in this little square here okay so this is going to be your very very last row so you are going to end up the same like here so first chain three and then make your last single crochet so then when you're done you do want to hide in your working tails and then go ahead and pluck your shawl Okay, my lovelies, so I'm at the end of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching and see you next time with a new one. Bye-bye!